Santa's Village out in Muskoka, more specifically Bracebridge, has just announced a new family roller coaster for the 2025 season. Now, for those of you that might know, Santa's Village is a really small family or close group owned theme park down in Bracebridge or Muskoka, what we call cottage country, and it houses a lot of family attractions from a train to these three new rides that came last season featuring Moose on the Loose um, to a bunch of other classic attractions like the bumper boats. Um, Santa's Village is um, a theme park that was established in 1955 as a tourist de destination by a group of local citizens when Highway 11 was built and bypassed Bracebridge. It is um, set on 60 acres of land um, and it is right along the Muskoka River and it seems to be under a rapid expansion plan. So for the 2025 season, they are introducing Yeti Trek. Yeti Trek is a Vacoma family coaster and they are boasting it as the best new family roller coaster out there. I would say this is probably Canada's best family roller coaster. I wouldn't just stop it at Canada's most exciting new family coaster. I would confidently label this as Canada's most exciting family coaster um, to date. It is um, built by Vacoma, which is kind of like an up and coming manufacturer that a lot of people have been wanting in North America and they have been building a lot of projects in North America and lo and behold we have our new age Vacoma coming to Canada but at a family theme park just up north so I'm really excited it looks amazing it has a station fly through um, definitely something very exciting it's got a really long layout as well um, so I'm really excited I have reached out to the park and we'll be covering this coaster's construction progress through the off season leading up to its opening in the 2025 season. So I'm really excited to show you guys the construction progress of this coaster. Um, and yeah, so definitely comment down below. Were you expecting this at a theme park like um, Santa's Village up in Muskoka? Or were you expecting this kind of attraction at Canada's Wonderland? Personally, this has got like Cedar Fair kind of vibes written all over it. But it's interesting. It's built at a smaller theme park just up north. So again, really excited. Wish this was coming to my home park. But I guess we'll have to drive the hour and a half up north to go check this out in 2025. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for some awesome construction updates. Bye.